Hey guys, so I'm kind of enjoying my cycling and it kind of clears my mind space and I feel like talking about you know different things. So today I'm going to talk about nationalism. It's a very overused, overemphasized word in India, but I really don't think people know the meaning of it, the real meaning of nationalism. I t- I'll give you an example. So we have people working in Bengaluru from other states, in Gurgaon from other states, but the locals there do not, especially in Bangalore, it's a huge problem. So they do not treat the outsiders. They call them outsiders and they don't treat them well. They resist the people, people working on the same country in their city. Okay, they do not appreciate the contribution those people are making to their local economy. Now, this is this is when we talk about nationalism and overhype it. On the other hand, we have countries like Germany. So, as you know, after Second World War, Germany was divided into two zones: East Germany and West Germany. Okay. East Germany was under Soviet bloc, Warsaw Pact. West Germany was under NATO, Americans. So West Germany turned out to be a great open market capitalist economy. They end up winning three World Cups in football. They were definitely far superior developed country. East Germany wasn't, you know, that progressive or developed because it was under Soviet bloc. After 1989, when the country got united, look at their nationalism. The West German, the entire Germany came together and put so much money, so much effort. They have made East Germany at par with West Germany today. East Germany was like 100 200 years behind just 30 years back and today it's a united great german country federal republic of germany that's nationalism indians got to learn it